Alright, and the time to play some more Star Wars Squadrons. Uh, I've been messing around with the audio. Uh, it is a little low, admittedly. I've been listening to it. I was just like... But I think, for me personally, that's the reason because I just want to avoid like getting copyright struck. But I understand, you know. Maybe I do need to, uh, to change the audio a bit. I know I've turned the music volume down. But I think one of the primary reasons uh, it's been a little low is because I've set it to this, which is like uh, sort of like sound spatialization kind of weirdness. Uh, maybe I should just switch it to enhanced stereo. That might do a lot of things because I've I've had issues before with games that like, or not even not even games that like movies and stuff that have like 5.1 surround sound. And it's always been pretty low, so that might be the issue. Because uh, my OBS settings aren't that bad. I mean, I have I've had to like raise it up a couple decibels, but uh, maybe maybe it is my OBS. I don't know. I just have to uh, check things out and uh, see uh, what works. And uh, basically, at this point, I don't really care about copyright anymore. So if they dock me for playing the game and hearing this music, then uh, that's their problem, not mine. <laughs> I'll just have to deal with it by, you know, not really doing anything because I can't do anything about it. And, uh, yeah, you know, that's just uh, the way things are nowadays. All right, so we're going to continue on with uh, Mission 4. I guess, uh, judging by the background and the color, we are playing as the Empire now, which is uh, pretty good. I thought we were always going to play as the uh, Rebellion. And maybe there would be a different mode for Empire, but no, I guess the story kind of weaves both. So, yeah, Secrets and Spies. Teresa Carrill has reassigned you to the Empire's Titan Squadron. A spy at Hosnian Prime has intel about the New Republic Secret Initiative, Project Starhawk. Go to Hosnian Prime and ex extract the spy. <laughs> extract. <laughs> extract. Okay, well, let's do this. Uh, loading. I forgot this thing loads pretty long. I don't have an SSD, so, <laughs> yeah, 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 <laughs> oh, gotta edit, uh, edit, I gotta just adjust my headset here. destroyed him before he betrayed us at Fostar Haven. Then this is your second chance. The rebels are keeping a low profile. Take Titan Squadron, hunt down this Starhawk, and eliminate it. Gladly, Admiral Sloan. But if I may ask, there's a particular pilot I'd like to requisition. <laughs> Treacherous slime taking our ships. Good. More the merrier. <laughs> Easy, Von Reg. Remember the last time you lost your call? The day I cut through a whole squadron of rebels and saved your neck. Focus. Shen's right. Tighten it up, Sol. And Von Reg. Save a little for the enemy. Overseer to Titan. Finish your inspection. Your new wingmate has arrived. Okay, <laughs> cool. Another loading screen.
it's just particularly painful for me because uh, I have a really slow hard drive, so yeah, it's not that exciting to see dark blackness and a little loading icon. <laughs> But that's just the uh, equipment I got, so I can't really do anything about that either. Oh. So, you're our new wingmate. Welcome to Titan Squadron. I'm Varko Gray, Squadron Leader. I think they're waiting for you in the briefing room. Better make a good first impression. Cool, cool. Anything else here? Let me just check. Uh, spin around here. Nope. Okay, cool. Go to the briefing. Welcome home, pilot. It feels like a lifetime since Fostar Haven, doesn't it? One fool betrays his squadron, and loyal officers like us are reassigned in disgrace. I heard they sent you to the Outer Rim. I got the Merim Sector. Protecting fuel shipments from petty scoundrels and pirates. The kind of posting that used to end careers. Before Endor. Before Lyndon Javes reappeared. No doubt you've heard. Admiral Sloan has instructed me to hunt that traitor down and end this Project Starhawk. It seemed fitting that I bring you back to help me destroy Linden. Your empire needs you, pilot. Are you willing? Good. For now, you will be flying as Titan III. Let's get to work. Okay. Time to do the briefing. Let me just take a look around at the uh, Empire's digs over here. Ooh. Very dark and mysterious. One of our spies, Agent Thorne, has discovered vital intelligence on Project Starhawk. Your mission is to extract her from an orbital outpost above Hosni and Prime. Your job is to secure the outpost for our extraction team who will arrive aboard the shuttle Bladius. Behind enemy lines, you must be precise and swift. We have no room for error, Titan. To gain access, you'll have to eliminate perimeter defenses. Intelligence reports missile platforms defending Hosnian space. Destroy them. The outpost itself is protected by turbo laser cannons on all sides. Evade and eliminate them all. When you've secured the area, you will escort the Gladius to the outpost, and our extraction team will acquire Agent Thorn. Once Thorn is secure, reach your Gozanti cruisers and return to the Overseer. Do not lose our spy under any circumstances. That is all. I'm Rella Sol. No need to introduce yourself. I've already reviewed your service record. It's been a long time since you were on the front lines. In days past, a mission like ours would have been afforded every possible resource. Unfortunately, times are tight since Endor. In one battle, we lost our Emperor and gained a hundred warring factions. <sighs> if only Emperor Palpatine hadn't dissolved the Imperial Senate. At least then, Senators, like my parents, could have maintained order after Endor. But no. Not that I question the Emperor's decision, of course. But now that he's gone, we must look to the future. And reinstating the Senate would help subdue all of this infighting. We can talk later, perhaps. Okay, cool. Now more than ever, the Empire needs reliable soldiers like Agent Thorn, Like you. Unity is the only path to progress. I trust you are aligned with Admiral Sloan's vision for the Empire. We cannot afford to fracture. Not after Endor. This mission is a vital step towards dismantling the Rebellion. And they are a Rebellion. Don't be fooled by their new name. The New Republic will fall, just like the last one. 
It's time for you to play your part. Get to the hangar. Ready your ship. Okay, cool, cool, cool. We are done here. And let's get to the hangar. Ooh, we get some uh, talking. You're the new arrival. I'm Havina Von Reg. Titan can always use another pilot, so long as you're good at killing rebels. We're going right into their territory, Hosnian Prime. We'll give those scum just a taste of what it was like at Endor. I was there, you know, when the rebellion murdered our emperor. Half my squad died trying to defend him. Captain Carroll understands. She doesn't lecture me about justifiable force like my other commanders. She knows all I need is a target. Politics are for admirals. I keep it simple. Always shoot to kill. Mess with the squadron and you mess with me. But do your job and I'll have your back. Later. Okay. Cool. <laughs> cool. Welcome to Titan. Call me Shen. Before you ask, helmet stays on, cockpit or not. Too many hard landings. Broken neck. Five, six times. Cybernetics keep me going. Fight. Fall. Get up. Fight again. All for the Empire. Advice. <coughs> Don't annoy Von Rack. Good talk. Another time. All right, cool. Let me just adjust my headset here. And let's talk to Waylon. You'll be the new pilot. Sergeant Waylon, chief mechanic and head of the hangar crew. Don't see the appeal in flying myself. But I've been working on ties since they rolled off the assembly line. Your fight is in good hands. The Overseer saw some action at Pothar and JL, but it's had a complete inspection and overhaul for this mission, Admiral Sloan's orders. And on my orders, every tie in this hangar has been serviced and test flown. Tighten half the rivets myself. We're ready. Gotta say, I don't know how you and Titan cope out there. No shields or life support? Just hold plating between you and space. It must build character. Never met a TIE pilot who backed down from any challenge. Shields or not. I've prepared your starfighter to match the latest Imperial guidelines. But if you've got a preferred component or need something customized, I'll take care of it. Just say the word. Your TIE fighter's ready. Good flying. to adjust my IPD. There we go. Okay. Let's go prepare for launch. The TIE Fighter. Classic. Maneuverable. Flexible. Can't take much direct fire, but that's no problem for a skilled pilot. Uh, okay. Your loadout, however, is not standard. And again, neither are any of Titan Squadron's missions. All right, burst cannon. Hmm. Let's see. I'll just get the standard repair system. Proton torpedo. Hmm. Concussion missile. Seeker warheads. Uh, let's see. Change speed faster. Okay. Hit and run tactics. Hmm. Maneuverability is pretty bad on this, but gives you an increase in max health. That's nice. Uh, I might stick with standard for now. Let's just uh max speed and acceleration, but faster turns. Twin thrust. Higher speed, acceleration and deceleration are lower. 
Hmm. Hmm. Kind of like this. Let me go with that. All right. Should be good. Let's launch the mission. Do we get a startup sequence? <laughs> Okay, two more. Got to repair. Got a repair. We should take out the shield generator. Without it, the turbo lasers are vulnerable. Shield generator is down there. Watch your backs. All right, unshielded ships like the TIE Fighter feature an emergency power converter, which allows the pilot to instantly convert all power from one system to the other. Ooh, okay. How does that work? Hold X to use the power converter. Laser or engine. Ah. Okay. Ready. 
I got him on my back. Is this the transport? It's too far for me. This guy right here. You're mine.
Goodness. Careful, they're right on you. I'm in position. Nice shot. One more. Regroup with the shuttle. Uh, max power on the engines. <clears throat> Closing in on your Titan squadron. We'll keep you safe, Gladius. Let's get you to the outpost's landing platform. Affirmative, squadron leader. We'll be gone before the rebel fleet even knows we were here. Come on, you can do it. Heads up, squadron. Enemy A wings are deploying from the station. Got him, I got him. Oh, look at all those people just firing on that A-Wing. More? Oh my goodness. Enemy, watch your back. That's the way. And the best you got? Fleeting formation. Ah, really? You're under the thing? Okay. No. Stop trying to shoot me down. I'm gonna get you down. I'm gonna get you. You're 
mine. Die. <laughs> nice. This is Agent Thorne. Your reputation precedes you. It's good to know my life is in capable hands. We won't let you down, Agent Thorne. Enemy fighters are finished. Titan Squadron, regroup with the Gladius. Where is the Gladius? There it is. Swing's coming up. You won't stop me. That'll do it. That was close. More rebel ships inbound. Get Agent Thorn back to the Overseer. Come on, give me a target. Give me a target. Please give me a target. I need a target. Hold on. All enemies. Seriously? Am I that far away? Under enemy fire. Hold on, hold on. Come on, guys. Let's get out of here. Fighters inbound. Yes, bring them down. They sent a frigate after us. Keep it moving. Evade those lasers.
Thanks, Titan Squadron. And my respect. Shuttle Gladius jumping to light speed. We did it. Squadron, reach the carrier and load up. Let's leave this wretched system. More rebel ships inbound. Alright, let's get out of here. A flagship. Move it. Go, go, go. Nice work, Titan 3. You're officially part of the squadron now. Cool stuff. Uh, let me check what I needed to do. Completed it. Completed it without dying. Uh, destroyed the uh, the uh, whatever the uh, transports and destroyed all the fighters. All right, cool, cool. But I didn't complete it in four thirteen, so that's yeah, whatever. That's okay. But hey, that was pretty cool. Seeing uh, doing uh, you know, doing the stuff as the Empire. I was waiting for it, but uh, I didn't think it would come so soon, but eh, you know. All right. Well, hopefully the audio issues got solved. If not, then I have a lot more work to do. But uh, yeah, that is about it for today. And uh, let me just get to the main menu here. All right. Uh, okay, cool, cool, cool. All right, well, you know, like I said, that's about it, and I will see you guys next time.